So, uh, it's been a while since I shot a video. You're gonna have to bear with me, but today I thought we would uh, show you how I'm installing my new hives. Getting into bees this year, and we're gonna be installing this Lands Hive and setting it up here in the orchard. You can see that it's a pretty nice day. Still have a little, you can see a little bit of snow still left in places. Bit of snow on the ground where it was drifted up but all in all it's nice probably 15 16 degrees celsius here uh today stuff growing in the greenhouse and uh yeah that'll be a good chance to get this set up on a stand in the orchard and uh go from there All right, so I set that up. You'll see I, I leveled it all up fairly well because you want to make sure it's level so that the bees build down the frames correctly, not uh, get all cross 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 combed. Um, did a pretty simple, small uh, frame. These lands hives are kind of bigger than normal hives, so uh, yeah, you don't want to get them too high. Uh, so you can't work with them this horizontal uh, design uh, I'm gonna put a couple screws in that uh, sort of in the sides <clears throat> right down here just just to hold it attach the the hive down and then when I'm all finished I'll be putting a couple of holes in this pointed down drilled and I'll drive some rebar down in with a hook on them so that they'll get kind of anchored to the ground um, and the wind can't can't push them over it seems unlikely they're they're pretty heavy you can see i put a latch on them so that the wind can't catch the, the lid uh, but you never know i'd rather not have hives and bees scattered all over the place so uh yeah this i'll show you a little walkthrough of this of this hive so this hive is a Layens hive. This is not, I would say, the original design. I've, I've come up with my own design on this. Um, the original design I found, well, I just found for our climate, I wasn't convinced that it was going to be uh, quite warm enough in the wintertime. <clears throat> and so the changes from this in this horizontal hive are I've done a full two inches thick uh, insulation on the side and I've made the, the cover deeper so there's a full R20 two inches of insulation four inches rather of insulation in the cover <clears throat> so that should give them plenty of insulation uh, for this climate you can see I've got them facing southerly, southerly. Uh, so our prevailing winds on the back of the hive and the, the front facing here uh, faces south if you're not familiar with the horizontal hive design, um, you're dealing with a, a deeper frame than a Lang, uh, Lang Stroth hive, a little bit narrower, but uh, almost twice as deep. You can see I've got starter strip on the top. I don't actually have any comb, and so that's all I've done. They'll have to build out their own comb. Uh, also, normally there would be a, a divider board in here, just so they don't build out in this empty space. Uh, so there should be a divider board, but I, I haven't actually cut the piece for that yet. I have it in all the other hives, but, but not in this one. So I will be, be cutting that, and that goes down and leaves just a small gap down at the bottom. <clears throat> the other change uh, with this, with my design over some of the, the normal lands hives you'll see, is there's a lot more space at the bottom here there's three to four inches of space at the bottom uh, i think that's going to be very useful in the winter time for managing uh, the cold 
um, the bees will be be up in here and you'll you'll have a, a basically an air gap at the bottom where condensation can can, can form down below instead of above the bees <clears throat> and uh, also for pests there's more space down at the bottom mites can drop uh, hive beetles can drop anything can drop and stay down with a good gap separating uh, from the frame alternatively I also could build even longer frames if I decide that uh, the 16 inch lands frame isn't enough and I want to go with an 18 inch or 19 inch deep frame uh, to give them more resources for overwintering I can do that uh, there's enough depth here and for when I get my nuke that I'm order that I have ordered that I'm picking up in a month and a half <clears throat> it's going to go in this hive uh, because those are going to come on a Langs frame and the Langs frame normally is wider I can turn the Langs frame and lay lengthways with some specialty frames that I've built to accommodate that and they'll stick down another three inches but that's okay because I have the depth here and so they'll slide right down in until my bees get uh, those all built out and then they'll I'll slowly remove those other specialty frames from the, the whole system so yeah that's that's my lay-ins hive the sort of my own design and version uh, I've got three other ones that are built uh, after a more conventional lay-ins design and we're gonna see how each of them go uh, and go from there Thanks so much for, for watching, and I will definitely be shooting more video to update everyone on my Hive project.